Welcome to Speed Week. This week, we have something a bit different. We start with coverage of the Rollo's Marine Bridge to Bridge race on the Waikato River. Then round one of the exciting Thundercat series. Waikato was late on the weather again for the 27th Rollo's Marine Yamaha Bridge to Bridge Water Ski Classic. Australasia's best water ski teams are here for this iconic race from Cambridge to Talbury and back to Hamilton for a marathon race distance of 82 kilometres. Seven classes face off against each other for the bridge to bridge title. Ten time winners Warlord had engine dramas in 2009, they're back for 2010. Fellas, the skiers from uh, Warlord, we're moments away from you guys getting in the water and heading down to Cambridge. What's going through the mind? Um, a little bit nervous, but um, we're just hoping for a smooth run. There's a lot of rubbish in the river. We just want to stay so clear of all that. And, um, get a nice, clean start and, and a quick run down to the other end and hopefully the same on the way back. Well, well, let's talk about the physical side of it for a minute because people are watching this are going to think, oh, yeah, they're just being towed by a boat. There's nothing physical in it. But that couldn't be further from the truth, could it? No, there's a fair bit of training involved. We do a fair bit of racing back home in Australia, so a lot of off-water training during the week and then as much as you can get on the water as well on the weekends as well. Well, it's not just about the drivers, the boats and the water skiers. It's also a pretty important job for the observers with the race teams. Here's Greg Dutton from Just For Show. Now you're driving the boat. We mentioned the skiers. How important is it to have an observer? Oh, the observer is the key, uh, absolutely. Um, probably not so critical in a race like this where it's straight line, but hey, still very important that he's there and he's just keeping communication between the driver and the skier. You mentioned 20 plus years of experience. You're obviously aware of some of the hazards. We had problems yesterday with logs in the river. Yeah, oh, that's all part of the bridge. It's, it's just a special race, you know. Uh, there's all sorts of other things that come into it. The, the river, the current, the, uh, uh, the extra issues you have with two skiers versus one. Um, and obviously anything that might come along the way, like logs and things. So, uh, yeah, you just do your best and hopefully keep out of trouble. If you talk to any of the skiers, they say the skiing is the easy part. It's getting up out of the water at the start that's the problem. Ben, you've done this event before. What's the secret to getting uh, a good result? Uh, perfection, mate. Just on the start line, get everything right, make sure your ropes are tight, skiers are in the right position, and uh, make sure the team's all sweet because the start's the important key for this race. If you miss your start, you've lost 20 seconds. Um, so you just want to get that perfect. So is that a, a coordination thing between driver and skiers? Yeah, and the observer, the whole team. Once everybody's set, we're sweet. So let's have a look at the race course for the 2010 Rollo's Marine Yamaha Bridge to Bridge. The race start for all of the teams is in Cambridge. They roll through the centre of Hamilton and down to Towfree to complete leg number one, which is 54 kilometres. Then it's the return journey from Towfree back to Hamilton, an 82 kilometre total distance. So I'm joined in commentary by Rollo's Marine, Brad Dutton, ski racer in his own right, and this is Warlord, one of the favourite teams for the event, and they're just going through that pre-start procedure. Yeah, very nervous time for uh, all the teams, especially watching the first boat off Warlord, but it looks like uh, they've run their ropes out cleanly. And great start there from Warlord. Very, very clean, this very professional team, and uh, Kevin Bartrick, Neil Ricks on their way down the river. And this boat has won this event a stunning 10 times. Didn't have a lot of luck last year with engine dramas, but they've certainly got to go into this race as one of the favourites. A couple of the Australian teams here as we look over the fantastic helicopter shots on the Waikato River. Some of the best parts of the river up this end of the course, very narrow and uh, tight, swirling currents. Uh, makes, makes it for some great skiing up this top end, very challenging. So we've got two very, very good Australian teams here this weekend. Got to go and filthy... Filthy with engine dramas, got to go. They've had more issues. This has got to go. Now, who's behind the boat? Because they've been through that many skiers this week. Yeah, had two skiers hit logs uh, earlier in the weekend, so they're on to their uh, third and fourth skier. Danny Cropper, flown in from Australia uh, just before the race, and Bevan Turks, out of Wellington, one of New Zealand's best. And Danny Cropper, Brad, is one of the world's best water ski racers. Danny's just an absolute legend in our sport and uh, won everything that's worth winning uh, all over the world, really. Well, Adrian Hefferman driving, Phil Mulcahy, he is observing. Again, wonderful shots, and you're looking at speeds of, what, 94, 95-plus mile an hour with two up. Yeah, that boat's definitely capable well over 100 mile an hour there, so uh, hopefully those boys will be touching those kind of speeds uh, as they head on down to Talbot. Now, problems here for Force Fed. Have they broken a rope before the race start? The yep. defending race champions have got issues. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, they might have burnt her out there on the uh, one of the exhausts or something there. Definitely disappointing for uh, last year's winner, Force Fed. On board with B Jam and one of the single rig favourites running in the open class. Just going through that start procedure. So, Force Fed, they looked like their race is probably run. As we see Bejamin come out of the water, Mark Priestley, Rick Powell making an absolute meal of that start, but he uh, did manage to hang on, and those guys will be very tough to beat in the modified open cockpit class. Stacey Mallow and Phil Eden on board in the boat. So dramas before the race start for the defending bridge-to-bridge -bridge champions from 2009. As we go on board with Bejamin and check out how low our helicopter platform is with the, with the cameras. That's insane. Absolutely insane. Great onboard shots there with B Jammin as we watch them streak down the Waikato River through towards Hamilton and onto Taupri to complete leg number one. Yeah, this is a very quick boat here, 90 mile an hour boat towing two skiers, which is uh, not easy to do with a single boat out there. So this is Hoover, Colin Eagles, Jack Horan, Dwight Dutton, and Mitchell Horan. Yeah, Mitchell's one of our uh, younger junior skiers. He's uh, only uh, 15 years old, I think. And uh, he's training for the world champs, and it looks like uh, they're off on their way down the river. Great name for a race boat, Hoofit. And again, they're absolutely on a mission. You can see these guys concentrating. What's going through their minds right, right now, just concentrating on what they've got to do? Early in the race, the legs won't be starting to burn too much yet, but yeah, mainly a concentration thing that this top end of the course is uh, very in parts challenging in terms of uh, swirling currents and eddies and stuff in the river. There's force fed, so they're back up and running, and this has probably cost them the better part of at least a good couple of minutes, and they're still struggling to get the skiers up out of the water. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. They're having all kinds of trouble. As we see Michael Witherford and Jaron Fritz pop out of the water. But well, they got no. up, but the boat shut down. Have they got engine issues with force fed? I think it's definitely all over for them for uh, this year's race. OK, this is one of our leading women's teams. This is Sleaze, driven by Jeff Week, Bungle, as we know him. And Adelaide Cox and Jordan Bradley, two very, very good young skiers, and they won this class last year. Yeah, definitely the ones to beat in 2010. Uh, Adelaide and Jordan are the best women's skiers we've got. Adelaide's uh, NZ1 and Jordan number two, so uh, definitely the, the team to beat in the ladies' class. And they're going to be up against it with Hobbit Racing right with them, Jessica Sloan and Olivia Van Dersen. And uh, this is Muscle Milk in down at the start line. Fraser Tong, Dean Cannon, Daniel Tuffin and Matt Strong is this combination. Yep, Matt and Daniel are uh, our top junior skiers at the moment, numbers one and two in the, in the country. And uh, these two boys are both training for the World Champs also, along with Mitchell. Uh, very you know, good young guys and uh, they've come a long way in the last couple of years and expect big things in this race from them. Another one of the big inboard V8 boats in there, the uh, leading under 19 combination. This is Illusion. Illusions in the uh, SMOC class, which stands for Standard Motor Open Cockpit, uh, up to 250 horsepower, and these guys won it last year and set a new record, so they're definitely the ones to beat again. Brendan McPherson's been a busy boy, he's one of the event organisers, he's driving the boat. Hamish McPherson is the observer, and we've got Bevan Scott and Vaughan Cox. Yeah, bit of the old, bit of the new in that skiers department there. So Warlord already down at Grantham Street in the centre of Hamilton, where the main pit area is, and they're on their way to Talpreet. In front of this big crowd assembled over the weekend, Brad, and it's been a fantastic crowd assembled. Yeah, the weather definitely helps uh, bring out the people on the banks of the Waikato River, and it's a great uh, weekend for it. As we see Danny Cropper and Bevan Turksman come through Hamilton uh, behind the Gotta Go machine. That's the Australian team with the twin turbocharged big block. This is Big Jammin, Stacey Mallow. Nicely uh, trimmed up there. Stacey's got the boat flying very nice, uh, and Rick and Mark there hanging on the back. Now, Brad, with the single outboard rigs, do they have some advantages in the smaller part, the tighter parts of the course against the bigger V8 boats? Yeah, probably don't need to slow down quite as much uh, because they're not travelling as fast, um, but I guess that is probably a trade-off with the point of view that the uh, the boats get thrown around a little bit more in the currents and stuff. So that's Hoofit on the way down to Taupri Sleaze. Here's the first women's team on the water. Adelaide Cox and Jordan Bradley. The defending ladies class winners from 2009. Because now we're over the top of Muscle Milk. Now this is the old Fish City boat with the Mercruiser 525 inboard in it. And yeah, Matt Strong and Daniel Tuffin out the back. These boys will be sitting on about 90 mile an hour, I'd say, and uh, looking pretty comfy at that. 
90 miles an hour. That is just insane. And the boys are going, well, wind it up, lads. Come yeah. on, we're not going quick enough. At 14 years old. Yeah, good stuff. Illusion. Bevan Scott and Vaughan Cox there, they're competing in the uh, smock class as well as cross entered in the Formula 2, so they'll be one to watch uh, in that class also. So seven classes, and that Formula 2 class is going to be very, very competitive this weekend. This is just for show. Two Aussies on the back of this one, uh, James Hogman and Luke Keyes, the best couple of very good skiers out of Aussie. So they're running in the mock class, Big Bird. Yeah, a couple of New Zealand skiers there from the Hawks Bay, Paul Mitchell and Logan Fritz behind Big Bird, driven by Dave Hanks. Unbelievable weather you guys have uh, lucked into it the last couple of years. This is Hobbit Racing, so this is the second of our ladies' teams. Jessica Sloan having a big regrip there and then away, but just waving to the fans assembled at Grantham Street. This is Smokin' running in the Mock and F2 classes. Sammy Fenwick driving uh, his new brand new boat. Phantom Hull with a 250 Yamaha four-stroke. VMAX on the back of that, towing uh, Ben Main and Mark Luxford. So the next boat to come through Grantham Street is Dirty, also running in the mop class. Brett Seabrook and Luke Kennedy behind that boat, having a nice cruise on the Sunday afternoon. Sounds like they've got some fans on the riverbank as well. So very, very competitive. This is the Kruger boat, number 20. Awesome paint job on this one, airbrushed uh, Freddy Kruger on the side, just uh, recently purchased by Mike Slack, and very well.